showing you what I got for Christmas. Now I've been seeing a ton of these videos and I've never done this on my channel just because of what I'm going to say next. So I noticed in a lot of these videos all of the vloggers usually give a disclaimer and I totally get it and the reason being is just to kind of explain to people that they're not bragging, that they're not showing off or anything like that. Now I think it's really great that people do that but at the same time it feels a little bit sad that people can't just show their stuff and just naturally be happy for what they happen to get for Christmas. I would hope that people wouldn't just judge and assume that this person is just bragging or showing off or is just in it for the presents for Christmas so yeah but I guess I'll put mine out there but I do want to say that I just felt like showing you my presents like any other person I am not saying whoop whoop yeah I'm just showing you what I got for Christmas it is not a big deal and also if you're not a fan of these videos then I probably just wouldn't watch because if you're not a fan then why watch it I don't know I just feel like a lot of people kind of are judging just based on items and items do not make a person like if I had none of this stuff I'm still the same person these are just Christmas gifts and that is just it so I hope that you guys enjoy I also did vlogmas and I showed my crying face yeah, that happened. I still think that I kind of beat Kim K in that one. I just wanted to say that I was crying out of happiness and how happy I am with my life. I'm in a time of my life where everything is going pretty smooth. Honestly, I do have, you know, my own little problems. But just know that everybody always has a story. And try not to judge someone just based on items because... Yeah, I don't know. I just saw a lot of comments like that saying, you know, I get normal things, but that doesn't mean that just because someone gets a design or something or a little bit more luxurious that that's not a normal gift. So I don't know. I just don't want any judgment or anything like that. And I'd really appreciate that and to keep it positive because it's just a positive place. It doesn't want to live in a positive world. If you have a positive mind, positive vibes. Okay, so first thing I'm going to start off with is what my brother and sister-in-law got me. And they got me this beautiful pineapple candle. Now, I think this is gorgeous because, number one, I love pineapples. I have pineapples on my planner. And I used to have a pineapple lamp and it broke. It was such a sad day. So when I got this, I wasn't even expecting this. And it's this candle that you open and it's just so beautiful. It has like a beautiful shine on it. And the smell of the candle is pineapple coconut goodness. Like I feel like if this started burning, I might take a spoon, dip it in there, and might eat the wax. That's a joke. Even my brother said it. He said, you can honestly just have it open. You wouldn't even have to light it and it's going to just put the whole scent throughout the room. The next gift I got was also from them and they spoiled me and Glenn and this was our gift together. And I actually did this idea. I showed it in my vlog, but we basically were like, okay, great minds think alike. So they gave us a little popcorn set. This is the Popcornopolis and Kettle Corn and also Caramel Corn. And then inside we also got two movie tickets. So they gave a Jelly Belly 49 assorted flavors and also the cocktail classics. I was thinking, oh, is one of this bean boozled because me and Glenn did do that and skunk spray has still traumatized me. I'll link it down below. And then they gave us two cute little cups and this one says Mr. Right and they gave us a little Bailey's, the original Irish cream, Naughty or Nice and it's around the milk chocolate cocoa pack. And then they gave me the Naughty or Nice Hello Kitty one. And then on my glass it says Mrs. Always Right. And I told Glenn, hey, at least you're, you're Mr. Right too. We're, so we're both right. And I love gift cards. A lot of people say they're kind of like impersonal, but I like them because then it's just a little bit easier. You get to pick what you want. And I don't know, I really love gift cards. But I know some people don't really like to get them or give them. I don't know. I'm a fan. Are you? So the first one is a BB gift card. And I'm really excited because I'm going to try to find like a really pretty sprinkly top for maybe New Year's Eve. H&M gift cards from his family, one from his brother, one from his sister. Target gift card. And then Glenn's mom gave me a Macy's gift card as well. Glenn's aunt got me a Victoria's Secret gift card, which I've been so into just like cozy sweaters. And this top is actually from Victoria's Secret too. It was on sale. It's a little big, but I like it. It's like cozy and relaxed. Ow. And then Mama Whoop Whoop ended up giving me a gift card to Z Gallery, which I'm obsessed with Z Gallery. I love all their stuff. And she knows because me and Glenn are going to be moving out together next month. Well, I'm going to be moving in with him in January, but we're going to be searching for our new place together. So I'm really excited. And then Glenn's cousin and her husband gave me a dog-eared necklace. 
It's very dainty and I love dainty jewelry. And this one says, accomplish magnificent things. It says, make a wish and put on your necklace. Get ready to accomplish the incredible. It's really. Uh, let's try that again. I love dainty things, so I definitely have to like switch out my pearl because I feel like I wear my pearl all the time, but I just love Tahitian pearls, and this is the one that Glenn got me when we went to Maui last year. So again, look up Dog Eared, and you're going to see their jewelry. It's just really nice and personal gifts with the message behind it. From these boxes right here, my niece, she gave me some Lush products, and I got a bath bomb right here. I love bath bombs. And then this one is also another type of bath bomb, and this one does bubbles, I think, and it has has like glitters and it looks like a little macaron so I thought that was cute and there's a rose at the top imprinted and then Glenn's sister she also gave me along with that H&M gift card which is so sweet of her uh, she gave me another gift set and this one is from Lush as well so I got the rose argan body conditioner and this stuff is seriously bomb skis there's a Nivea one that's trying to mimic it but it's no way a dupe because I tried it and I felt like it just didn't do anything to my skin but if you don't know what a skin conditioner is first of all let me say really quick these things can be pricey because when I did have the larger one it was extremely pricey and I didn't purchase it over again it's because it's just that pricey but it works really well after you like wash your body and all that good stuff I really recommend using this at nighttime but when you put it all over your body and like kind of let it sit like a lotion and then you rinse it off when you towel dry your skin it feels like so silky and moisturized and some people don't like the feeling because it does feel like you have a film over you but it's like a moisturized film if a film on the skin would ever feel good this gives it to you. Then I got the other little rose little bubble bath bomb. And, I, and then in the set, it also came with the rose jam shower gel. Then I have another, I don't know if this is a bath bomb or a melt. Uh, sometimes I can't tell what these things are for, but I'm really excited because I know it's for the bath. So I'll find out. Last but not least in the set is the ultra bomb, all purpose bomb for all your bits. Hmm. And then I got a bath set and this is a passion fruit set and you have no idea how excited I was for this because this year I was telling Glenn, well I was telling my mom too, I was like I hope I get lotions because last year I got so many lotions, I think like about seven bottles of lotion and I loved it because I used it within the whole entire year and I also got shower gels which I have one more shower gel left and now after that this is all I have left. So I was really hoping I'd get more lotions and body stuff because I think I think like around Christmas time is the time where everybody gives like shower gels, lotions, and all that good stuff. So I'm definitely gonna go have to hit up that Bath and Body Works sale because I have I know they have a huge one. But this is definitely going to come in handy because a girl ran out. Then my nephew got me the Roku 2, which is really awesome. If you don't know what this is, I'm still trying to figure it out. Uh, this one is like an Apple TV, so you can watch all things such as YouTube, <laughs> Netflix, Hulu Plus, all these cool things, Pandora. So I'm gonna have to figure out how to use this but it comes with like this remote control and the app My brother just have this so I'm just going to have to figure out how this baby works uh, I don't watch a lot of TV, but I watch a ton of YouTube and I'd love to watch Netflix The only true thing that is my guilty pleasure Pleasure is watching the real housewife shows even though I just know they're super silly, but it's my guilty pleasure Then my sister got me this cute little Christmas box and this really sweet ornament And then this can be an ornament for me and Glenn's first tree together next year and it's a mistletoe so we can so you're supposed to kiss and then my sister also found this ornament for Glenn because he is a vet he was in the Marines and then it was a marine ornament and I've never seen anything like that so that was pretty dang cool so now this is on to the things I received from Christmas from Glenn like I said I just don't want anybody to kind of feel discouraged or upset or anything like that because we did splurge on each other first thing that I got were these Chanel sunglasses and I think the cover is so cool and it has a little CC on there I love Chanel sunglasses mama whoop whoop gets me a pair every single year so I'm sure Glenn probably told her that he was getting me a pair because my pairs that I do have mama whoop whoop has bought me like the last three years so now this is my new one to my collection and it's a tortoise shell one this is the style because I know people ask for styles I don't know um 1172 slash s9 I'm gonna say it is and then it just says Chanel 5322 
and then this is what they look like and then it has the little CC's right there as you can see so then I also ended up getting the 360 HD cam that's at Best Buy but I ended up asking Glenn if maybe we can exchange it because I just won't want to get anything that I know that I probably won't use every single day and he thought maybe I could use it for YouTube which was extremely sweet of him but we're always very honest that we don't waste each other's money so I asked him if I can get a certain lens that I've been dying to get I want the one that makes me really sharp and then the blurry background because I don't know I just really like that look and I would love to upgrade my lens because I just have the lens that comes with the camera so he said oh yeah of course so I'm really excited so we're going to be exchanging that camera for the lens and then he ended up getting me a Louis Vuitton planner book and I thought it was a little bit too pricey and honestly I'm in love with my Erin Condren and the reason why he got it which was very sweet was he saw my video on Erin Condren and he thought that my life planner was going to fit in there because you can fit slots but he didn't know that you need this special paper and then he said oh when the lady asked him oh do you want the paper he said oh no she has her own planner. Uh, but he didn't know like you have to I guess you have to slip in their paper so I said you know I just wanted just to take it back and just get his money back and that he already gave me so much and then when we went there uh, he ended up liking something so he got a little something for himself he's like come on pick something out and I was just like okay so I ended up picking a bag charm and I just got like this little charm that says LV on it and I thought it was really cute and it's just gold and he also got some money back which I was really happy for because like I said I don't want him wasting money and we're very honest like if we just want to change it or maybe just take it back or we just feel like things are a little bit too much for us so yeah that was really sweet of him he told me you know pick something out come on so that was really nice and I'm glad that he got to pick something out as well and he got money back and the reason why I wanted him to take that back because I felt like he already spoiled me so much and I was very very appreciative for it again life is not about materialistic things it is nice to work for things and if you're someone that likes nicer luxury items and you work hard for them then it's okay you know it's not bad I wanted him to return that planner also it's not just only because it didn't fit but because I just didn't want to be greedy and have that as well and it's this purchase right here this was my last present that I received and after that that's when I was reevaluating. I was like oh no I want him to return that it was like way too much so he ended up getting me a luggage piece so he ended up getting me the 55 Damir Aben bandolier bag and I'm really appreciative for this piece I was honestly in shock you have no idea if you saw the vlog you already know <gasps> huh you okay? You're frozen there. Um, I'm a big time crybaby. And like I explained in that video, everything's just really um, overwhelming because I'm just really happy where I am in the point of my life emotionally and just mentally with myself and with my family and all that stuff. I think that whole day was truly, I don't know, um, how do I ex explain it to you guys? It was just really overwhelming because I was telling him this is probably well I was telling my mom this is probably one of the best Christmases we've ever had not because of the gifts or anything like that but as a family because I hope my family doesn't get mad at this but just to be very honest our family isn't like all lovey-dovey all together we've kind of all had our personal problems with each other and this is probably like a coming to the like near the end of the year where we have finally all come together we don't have any like grudges on each other we're not trying I don't know like you know when families just have um a certain dynamic and ours wasn't truly the best but that's what I was just really overwhelmed with and I was overwhelmed with how happy I am with Glenn because he seriously makes me the happiest girl ever um and he's just a really nice addition to my life and I'm just so blessed to have a fiance like that and everything this year has been just so beautiful and that's why I just felt really overwhelmed in that vlog and again, very appreciative for everything. Just everybody's sweet Merry Christmases and all the sweet messages. And you guys have made my year the best present in itself, honestly. So that is everything that I got for Christmas. I'm going to link all my social medias down below. I did just recently post a Get Ready With Me video. Go ahead and check that out. It is type of a new style where I show my makeup, hair, and outfits. So I was really excited to do that. I plan on filming another one this weekend because Glenn is going to be helping me. I'm so happy. And yeah. Go ahead and check my vlog channel as well, and I will see you guys in my next video. Mwah! Woo -woo.